Hey everyone, Caitlin Jamie Way here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my makeup palette collection. Hold on. And then I got two more. So if you want to see what I have in my palette collection, let's keep on watching. This clear container, I don't know. I found this, I think. I found it at Marshall's. It was $6.99. I found it in the kitchen section at Marshall's. So it fits most of my palettes. Two can't fit in there, but that's okay. I don't use those two often, so let's just dive right in. This one that I ever purchased that I remember was the Urban Decay Naked 2. This thing has seen better days. Next, I'm just going to show you the two that don't fit in. So this is a Sephora Z palette, but I put some Wet n Wild shades in there. I never use this. It's just, it's handy. If I want to try different colors, they're here. So the other one that doesn't fit is the Urban Decay Naked Vice. The Vice Four. I, for some odd reason, I thought it was the Vice 6. I really like this mirror. Like, you could probably place it down somewhere if you brought this traveling. It'd be great. But I barely use this because of the color range. I love this during the Halloween season and holiday season. This is, like, comes my go-to palette when it's Christmas and Halloween. Now I'm going to get into the ones that actually fit in here. I start with the little and then go on to the big. So I have the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and then the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basic. This is 2. This is 1. 1 literally every shade has hit pan. That's what those look like. They're just mattes. I just sometimes I just want to have a matte look or um, these come in handy for crease colors. I like them. They're what they are, basics. So if you don't want to, if you're just getting into makeup, I recommend these. I have another small palette. This is the Tartlet Teased um, by Tarte. This is just mini thing. I brought this on vacation once. It's all I used. Colors are really good for fall, which I'll probably be getting into this too. So just, again, a nice little travel size one is Marc Jacobs. I just recently picked this up at Marshalls, I think. It looks like this. And it's the, um, a, it's a trio. And this is the 120 The Escapist. Style icon number three. And I'm starting to really like Marc Jacobs stuff. This thing is like old school Urban Decay Sephora. So again, I don't I barely use this, but it has like bright colors and this again was, is used a lot during Halloween and the holiday seasons. I have a Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Holiday 2016 palette. It has a mirror. This was like one of the first palettes that she made of a mirror. And these colors I'll be using for, all, for fall. I love, I love all these. I mostly love these two colors right here. I really do love this palette. Like I feel like during the fall season you can just bring this anywhere. If you're going someplace for a mini getaway or a girls weekend, bring this and you can make any eyeshadow look. Next I have is Too Faced. This is the Cat Eyes palette. Um, I found this at Marshalls. I think it was $12.99. And it looks like this. I feel like this palette is really good for Halloween. So it has like the iridescence, so you can like, be like a mermaid or something like that. As you can tell, I'm very into Halloween. The last medium sized one is the Too Faced Bourgeois Eyes. This was my first um, Too Faced palette. This doesn't get enough love as I I should. Like every color is like, this is like a Caitlyn Shea palette, like really. But maybe I'll do like a nice smoky eye look with this. This is the 
again, Marc Jacobs. I got this at Marshalls for $24. And this is 201 The Tees. And this is the Style Icon number 7. And this is what this looks like. Love, like, I, my favorite color is purple, so this palette. I just love it so much. The next bigger one I have is the Too Faced Love Palette. Um, got this at Marshalls, I think, for $14.99. I had it, have it in a haul. And these are the colors. They're all, like, glitter colors. Like, they're in, it says mattes are in here, but they're, like, no mattes. So I use this, like, if I want, like, um, glitter or shimmer on the eyelid, I go to this palette because it basically has every color that I would ever use. If you're into glitter, try to find this. It might be, just, this might still be on the Too Faced website and I like how the packaging is like the other one so it's very safe to travel with. Next I have is the Naked 3 by Urban Decay. I, do like, I love this palette. And one that really doesn't get love um, and a lot of people don't like it, it's the Naked Smoky. I actually I love the colors in this. It's all darks and all that, hence the smoky. And I actually might do a nice like fall inspired look with this because I want to start using this more. Next is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I bought this and it was like it was like Too Faced's birthday and they were like came with a makeup bag and everything and this came broken. And I was like, I am not sending this back. I want to use it. It's perfectly fine. The eyeshadows were fine in it. Obviously, I hit pan, and I absolutely love this palette. I use this color for a highlight. I know Nik Nikki Tutorials does too. I think she put that in her palette that she made with Too Faced. This next one is like literally one of my favorites. Um, the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. When this came out, people were like going crazy for it. I wanted it so badly. I couldn't wait. And it was sold out on every website. So I went <laughs> on Poshmark and I bought it. It was never used. I literally, I checked. It was never used. There was a receipt and everything. Um, $90. So worth it though. Like I've had this for over a year and I just hit pan on one. Of the colors. I flip and love this palette. And it smells so good. But this is the MAC Eyeshadow Times 15 Cool Neutral. I love this. It has very, it literally, it is cool neutrals. This was a pretty penny. This is my only palette and probably my only ever MAC Eyeshadow palette. The last one is the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. Some people are like the eyeshadows, they're not, it's not a variety. It's natural. It's not supposed to be like these crazy colors. Too Faced comes with the things that show you the different looks you can create. It said that all these colors came from other palettes that they had, so they just put them all together. And obviously I love this palette so much that I already hit pan. Got this in April, I got this for Easter. A lot of fallout, but I, I'm a sucker for these colors, and that's why I love this palette. And, oh, and this one also has a big mirror, too. I love the packaging of it. It's just so pretty. And how many eyeshadows is this? 30. So, you get your money's worth, and if you, if you like these eyeshadow colors, you really do get your money's worth, so. That is the end of all my palettes. If you liked this mini chill showing you my collection of eyeshadow palettes, that's probably cost over a thousand dollars. Like, thumbs up, which is basically the same thing. Hit that subscribe button so you're part of my Blackheart family, and hit the bell so you're notified sometimes that I upload a video. That's my palette collection. It probably will keep on growing slowly, but yeah, I'm pretty proud of my collection. <laughs>
hope you like this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.